Hey everyone, Krista Moser here, designer of the Creative Grid 60 Degree Diamond Rulers. Today I'm at Fat Quarter Shop and I'm going to show you some of the cuts to make my Mia Moore pattern. It's a table runner, what you see just here, and it's a baby quilt. So I've used the Rose Spectrum Bundle that's available at Fat Quarter Shop and I just chose eight shades, light to dark. So what I'm going to do is show you some of the cuts. Now I've got my strips here and I've got a little stack of four. These are the four lightest shades. And I've just stacked them up pretty much exactly on top of each other. And take the ruler and I'm gonna line it up down the edge of the strip. So I just cut my end off and a flat tip. I'm going to do that with that set, and then there's four darker shades. We'll get those cut here too. Okay. Now what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to stagger them before sewing. Because I just took that angle off, it eliminates a lot of waste. So here we've got the shades like that. Now that'll be sewn together as one set. When you're doing your seams, use that flat tip so your quarter inch seam, you've got a perfect place to match your, uh, your strips up at the end. So basically I cut off this amount to save us this amount. And then the next set would be sewn like this the slightly darker shades, just like that. I've actually got some of those already sewn together, so I'll show you that now. Okay. From the lightest set here, I'm gonna take the ruler and I'm just gonna do a new cleanup cut off the end. Even though I've got that nice angle, Take it off here, the flat tip. And I'm gonna turn it around. And I need a four and a half inch diamond. So I'm following my diamond lines. I'm gonna the four and a half inch diamond. And go there. Take the flat tip off. And I need an eight and a half inch parallelogram. the full length of the ruler. So I can line up the edge of my strips with the edge of the ruler, the four and a half inch line down here. Take it off there. And I'm just gonna turn this strip around and use the nose of the ruler to go ahead and flatten the other end. That will help with piecing accuracy later. So we'll set those aside and do the same thing to the darker shades. Cut the end off. We need a four and a half inch diamond. And flatten that tip. And an eight and a half inch parallelogram. Just like this. From here again, I'll flatten the other tip by nesting the end of that ruler right into my strip set, just like that. Okay, so those will get sewn to each other. What we're gonna do here is grab the diamond from the lighter set, the parallelogram from the darker set, and the reverse of the other. But we need some background first, so that's the next cut. I've got my white background. And from this one, I'm just gonna cut the end off, trimming my salvage to give me a nice clean 60 degree angle. So I'm lining up the edge of my ruler right here at the end, and I don't need to take off much. I need to get my 60 degree angle. There we go there. I need 
In this case, I'll need two diamonds. It's a four and a half inch diamond. And a flat tip. Do another one. Just like that. Okay. So what you'll see here, this is the way you make the arrangement to get your heart blocks just like this. So we have a background diamond, we have our light diamond, and our darker parallelogram. And that's going to get sewn to this here. You would use your flat tips to get your matchup points. You do your quarter inch seam, press it open, and then we have flat tips here and here to get your matchup point. With these two sewn together, that will be the right length to meet our parallelogram. The other heart is the same but the reverse color shades. So it goes dark diamond, background, dark diamond, light parallelogram. So the whole table runner is made up of five of these. You do this a few times and you can flip flop your hearts so they go opposite directions. For a table runner, that's a pretty good idea. You don't have a one-sided table runner. And each of those, here we have some sewn together, that seam just like that. You get your seam. Notice I pressed all my strip sets open. That makes for a really, really flat block. And when you're sewing angles, a lot of times the seams don't necessarily nest. They'll crisscross. And so if your seams are pressed open, they crisscross way easier. So it'll be just like that. Five times over. To do the baby quilt, you'll need a few more than that. It's actually basically three rows of the table runner. Okay, so once you've got your heart blocks done, now we need some setting triangles. That's for these here, because this is not going together with any Y seams. So let me cut some of those. We'll sift, shift this off to the side. Got a great big piece of background here. Now, taking my ruler. And I'm just going to line it up. The eight and a half inch dashed line here gets me a great big eight and a half inch triangle. Flat tip across one end. Cutting there. I'm going to take these dog ears off. I'll turn the ruler. Maybe one more cut. Just like that. Okay. Now, this is the way you arrange your pieces for the table runner. Imagine those are sewn together, something like this. And you're going to do one of your large triangles. You need to fill up the gaps. Just like that. Do another one down here. Okay. So you've sewn your diamond units together. And then you're going to do a triangle to each side. Same thing here. So it creates kind of a row. A row with diamonds or triangles on each edge. Simple, huh? Isn't that cute? Wouldn't it be cute in any color? And for something as basic as this, it's a good first time project if you're working with angles. The 60 degree angle is really fun and there's a lot of possibilities. Watch for my other videos at Pat Quarter Shop. And if you'd like more tips and tricks on how to use this ruler, come find me at kristamoser.com.